okay people so i'm gonna go over the anatomy of a in-game script in visual studio um, starting from the top down we have a bunch of using all kinds of stuff here and then a namespace and then a partial class and you should basically just ignore it all it is there to make this work it's there to make us able to write an in-game script in visual studio without getting errors and while getting the intelligence uh, where we can type am i whatever and get a bunch of suggestions it is not something you should modify it is just something that will change from program to program you should not change the name of anything to match your scripts the only thing you should be concerned about is the part between this script line and this script line indicated by a line between them up here the part inside that is your program so inside this we have three methods or rather we have two methods and a constructor the first one here called program is the constructor it is run when you run the code for the first time uh, that means when you first input the code and press ok when you press recompile and when you load the game so stuff you only want to run once you should stuff in here the next one called public void save is a method that is run every time you save the game I have not gone over how to use that and I'm not gonna in this but uh, yeah it can be handy in some circumstances the last one is the main method it is what is run every time you press run on the block or every time the block runs itself it is not run on the first uh, when you first put in the code or when you load the game unless you have declared that it should do so and as I said this is where all your code is that you want to loop through or run when you press run so what about all the other space the empty space between these three methods this is where you're going to make the declarations or oh, well you could do it inside the methods but i really prefer doing it out here so by declaration i mean that if i want to access a solar panel i can't just type in solar panel and uh, yeah it, it it doesn't recognize it doesn't know what i'm talking about and even i type it out and press a dot or something it does not know what the solar panel is so what i am declaring out here is that i want an imi solar panel called solar panel this is now declared the program now knows when i press type in solar panel i'm talking about an imi solar panel and i will get the relevant uh, functions methods but in and of itself this is an empty shell i can manipulate it in my code like any other solar panel but it doesn't match anything in the game the name here is arbitrary i could call it fluffy and it would work just as fine what makes the difference is when i assign something to it so when i assign it to a block so i'm going to say fluffy equals grid terminal system so in the grid that the programmable block is on I want to get the block with the name solar panel this is the part that is important to get right this is the name of the block you want to access uh, the name of the block on your grid now get block from grid terminal system gets a terminal block and we want a solar panel so what we're going to do is we're going to add s i my solar panel so now it's going to take this terminal block and treat it as a solar panel and we are assigning it to fluffy so fluffy now equals that actual block in the game until we do this line this doesn't do anything without this up here then we wouldn't be able to uh, assign anything now we could just take that i my solar panel and put it in front of this and it will work just fine now the problem is scope we cannot run anything declared inside a method inside another method so inside here we can say fluffy max current max output great that works fine no problem if we try to use fluffy down here it doesn't know what we're talking about because fluffy is not in the context of this method it will only work up here that is why we declare it 
outside of a method um, because then it is available to all methods inside this class so inside the, 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 the program class here and you may be thinking that why don't I just do it the other way around well you can run functions methods uh, whatever out here you can only declare objects and variables so running grid terminal system or whatever will not work you can however if you for example want an integer you could say int bob is equal to five that is fine because that is not dependent on anything external you need to run stuff inside program save or main to access the grid terminal system or basically anything inside space in here so outside the tree methods only decorations inside them you can assign whatever you want you could also declare and assign the whole thing inside your main method that should work just fine the downside or perhaps the upside is that you will be declaring it every time you run your code it'll access the grid terminal system get the block with the solar panel and stuff it into the imi solar panel called fluffy every single time and that should work I'm really not familiar enough with C Sharp to tell if this will have any adverse effect doing it like this. Personally, I think it looks a bit cleaner the other way. Then I also don't uh, have a bunch of extra lines inside my main uh, loop. If anyone's familiar with C Sharp and can tell if it is uh, problematic to do a declaration and assignment like this inside your main loop, please uh, post a comment. Anyhow, that is all for this video. Um, I hope it cleared up some questions. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you.